How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Solar and today I want to show you my whole home backup system. It consists of two EcoFlow Delta Pro units connected to a dual voltage hub. That dual voltage hub puts out 240 volts and then that goes into my 30 amp generator inlet with an interlock kit at my service panel so I can power my home in a backup power situation. Let's say we have a storm roll through the area, it knocks out power, I wanna to continue to power my whole home. So I do that through this system. The key is this overall system only has 7.2 kilowatt hours of capacity and even in the winter months when my energy is at the lowest, I'm using between 20 to 25 kilowatt hours of power. So I can't just depend on these batteries to keep me going for even one day, let alone multiple days. So we need to use the solar charge input capability on each one of these Delta Pros. Each Delta Pro can take about 1600 watts of solar in. So I'm testing those out with some Helion 360 watt panels two in series and then two of those going into each of the units. Let me show you how much power I'm actually getting on the input and then maybe we'll expand it out a little bit to see if we can get closer to that 1600 watts as I continue to test out a whole home backup system that might be able to actually make it multiple days. And then since this is just a test, I'm just temporarily going to lay these in the driveway so we can go ahead and start getting the power output readings into each one of the Delta Pros. I will prop the ends up of the panels just to make sure I'm not putting any pressure on the MC4 cables. And the wiring for each of these sides could not be easier. So we're going in series. So you're going to connect up your positive to negative on one panel for your MC4. And then your other MC4 is just going to connect up to an adapter cable that will go in to the back of the Delta Pro. Now that just converts from MC4 to what's called an XT60 plug, which is just the standard solar input for the EcoFlow unit. So then we can use the EcoFlow app and actually monitor the input and output power from each of these units. We have our OG Delta Pro and our new Delta Pro. With the OG, you can see we're getting about 480 watts from the two solar panels, but we're putting out about 430. So holding our charge but not really gaining too much then if we go to the new delta pro we can see we're still getting 480 watts in but only putting out about 230 watts so we are actually gaining a charge on this one which is what i would want to do during times like this it's 3 30 in the afternoon some of the core sun hours where i really would need to fill up those units to top them off to make this a feasible multi-day whole house backup system for my home so now trying to bring four of these panels within series to see how much we can bring into one unit. Again, the wiring's very easy, it's the same setup. Now you're just rearranging to get four of those in series. Now, when I did plug that in, I was not getting any input solar power. Why is that? Well, looking at the specifications on each of these panels, I can see the output voltage is 40 volts. So when you place four of those in series, that gets you to 160 volts. Now that is right outside of the range or the specifications for the solar input on the EcoFlow Delta Pro, which runs from 11 volts to 150 volts. So for this exact solar panel, I was only able to bring three of those in series. And then if we jump back into the app and we check, we can see that we're bringing in about 700 watts of solar input power, which is much better than the 480 that we had before. And that's why if you want the full 1600 watts capability, the solar input capability on the EcoFlows, you do need to be a little bit more selected on your hardware, what panels you're selecting, and are you using series and putting those panels in series, adding up all those voltages, or are you using a parallel configuration where you're getting the amperage up? Now it should be noted the maximum amperage on the solar input side is 15 amps for the Delta Pro from EcoFlow. So overall, this has got me closer to a multi-day whole house backup system based off of the two EcoFlow Delta Pros and the dual voltage hub and needing some capability to charge those up during the daytime. Now these panels weren't specifically selected for this application, so that's why there's a little bit of a mismatch. I'm actually using them on a DIY solar pergola project that we're doing in the backyard of my home. In addition, I'm doing roof mounted solar this year as well. 
Now, if you need help with solar around your own house, you can look below this video in the description and it'll jump you over to a website where you can fill in a little bit of information. And we actually have some solar consultants that can help work through your specific home, your energy consumption needs now and in the future to make sure you get that right system for your home. And then if you want, we can connect you up with trusted installers in your area. Now, one of the keys to how we size systems in Illinois is the understanding of net metering. If that doesn't mean much to you and you need a little bit more information, check out this video right here and one of our consultants, Julian Todd Borden, will actually walk you through net metering and why it's so important to understand when sizing a system for your home. So thanks for joining me on this video and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.